Hi, I'm Blair Gilbert, here for MrHardware.com and Gilbert's Pro Hardware in St. Clair Shores. At our hardware store, we're running into customers are going with the ring doorbells. We're finding out that there isn't enough amperage in the standard household transformer to run some of the ring doorbells. We've come to the basement here and we have found the transformer that is powering the ring doorbell upstairs. The ring doorbell is running its intermittent. The problem we're hearing is a lot of the ring doorbells are either burning out the transformers or there isn't enough power for it to give good constant video. It says right there on the ring transformer that it's looking for 30 VA or 30 volt amps. That's a measure of wattage, like 30 watts and it wants 16 volts of electricity. Normally, you don't have to do anything. We're running into a problem. Things aren't normal. This ring doorbell needs a little more juice than our standard households are supplying. So what we've done is we've found a 48 VA or 48 watt transformer. This transformer runs about $25 and it is a multi-tap. It's got a slew of wires here that are a little confusing to the amateur. However, it shows you if your primary is 110 you use black and white wires for your primary. I'm going to show you. That's going to hook up to the household power. The secondary, to have 16 volts, it's yellow and red. So out of all these wires, looks confusing. It's not. Yellow and red is going to be 16 volts that we're going to hook up. This is going to run any standard doorbell also. This is just more powerful, 48 VA. So all these wires give all these multiple voltages. We've been seeing that some people are saying that you just increase the voltage to 24 volts. I somehow don't think so. I think I should stay with 16 volts with 48 watts. That's what it's asking for, 16 volts. So if something says 16, I'm going to give it 16. I'm going to give it more wattage. The ring doorbell will only use as many watts as it needs. We could give it 100 watts. It's still only going to use what it wants. So we're going to take this transformer. We're going to pop out our old one. So when Ring asks for 30 VAs, those are volt amps, which are actually known as watts. Volts times amps equal watts. So they're trying to come up with 30 VA, 30 watts. So we found the transformer that's 48 VA, or 40 watts. We got more power. It's going to run the Ring a lot cleaner and easier than anything, than any other trick like increasing the voltage. So this transformer when it rings your doorbell always has 110 volts feeding it because you can ring your doorbell and it rings all the time. So when you go to work on this, make sure you kill the power because we're going to be dealing with a hot wire otherwise. The two feed wires off the transformer usually don't have a polarity. See, in this case, they're both black. On our new transformer that we're going to put in, they're going to be a black and a white. So when you have a chance to go black and white, you're going to go black to the black wire, white to the white wire. And here, they use these multi-tap screws to attach the power to our feed. The, see the multiple blacks coming in and the multiple whites? It means the electricity is coming into this box and going somewhere else. So no worries. Just when we go to wire the new one in, you will see. That was the output going to feed the doorbell and the ring. Out with the old. The instructions say, cover up the wires you're not going to use. So we're not using the yellow or the red. Those be used if we're in an industrial application where we had 250 volts or 208 volts, we're in the house. We only have 110 volts. So we'll go black with the blacks, we'll go the white with the whites. So you notice I had a red and a white wire that goes to the doorbell to feed the chime and the ring. And in this case, by luck, I was able to put the red to the red. Um, there is no polarity. 
this red and this yellow wire, according to the output instructions of this transformer, provides me with 16 volts, 48 VAs. I could switch these two wires. The polarity, this is alternating current, so this polarity could alternate and it really doesn't matter. So, but I have my output, my 16 volts output hooked up to my doorbell output. I got my 110 volts hooked up to feed my transformer. I can close this all up. So mind you, there's no polarity to the output. You can take and hook the 16 volts output either one way or the other way. You can switch the wires around. So now we're supplying 16 volts like they asked for, 48 VA, which is more than they asked for, but the ring will only use what it's required. It will not, you can feed it 100, wouldn't matter. It's only gonna use what it needs, but we supplied it more than it asked for, not less than it asked for. It's for about $25, uh, should be able to find this transformer around. Now you're seeing the confusing wiring. All right, quick tips, how to fix your ring doorbell from MrHardware.com.